Neutrophils were recently discovered to undergo a novel type of cell death, known as neutrophil extracellular traposis. This is a process distinct from apoptosis and necrosis, in which the cells break down internal membranes, like the nuclear membrane, mitochondrial membranes, granule membranes, and chromatin is released from the cell so that this extracellular DNA may now form a trap which limits microbial movement in an area. Any antimicrobial chemicals released from the neutrophils would thus also be contained in this area, increasing their effect and limiting their potential negative effects on the host. And since uh, more than two dozen of these antimicrobial compounds are known to bind to the chromatin, apparently this allows the trap itself to be toxic to microbes. Neutrophils are not the only cells which can synthesize these extracellular traps. Eosinophils, basophils, and mast cells are also known to do this. And there is a great deal of interest to see whether these contribute to some diseases. It is possible that the release of all of these proteins from inside cells, which then attract immune cells, then allow the body's own proteins to become autoantigens and thus contribute to autoimmune diseases.